by, by now, guys, you probably already follow Outdoors 55. This video is 100% about a stone that he recommended. I picked one up, and I think it's amazing. And we're going to see if I can use this stone alone to sharpen a knife from completely dull all the way up to hair or paper cutting sharp. So we're going to do two different steels. We're going to do a budget steel, and we're going to do a super steel. So let's turn this around, and let's get started, because this is going to be a time-consuming video. This is that Shapton ceramic that I bought for sharpening on the recommendation from Outdoors 55. I saw his video, and I was like, I need a new good stone. This thing has really, really done well. So it's a 1,000 grit, and you see here I've got a six-minute maximum soak marked on here. And I apologize for any background audio. It's a nice day, and I've got the door open here in the studio. So I am going to soak this for like six minutes, but typically I would not use only one stone. But this stone cuts so well, I believe that I can go from completely dull all the way to magazine cutting, magazine paper cutting sharp with just this stone and a quick strop. So let's go ahead. We're going to get this in a soak. I'm going to get this thing all organized. I've got something, I got a big basin I'm going to put on here so I don't make a mess on my filming mat. And I will bring you guys back in just a minute. While that soaks, I'm just going to let you guys know what we're going to do. I These are both my personal knives. This one is very, very sharp. It's in 20 CB. So we're going to sharpen two different steels. We're going to sharpen AR PM9. This is one that I have just beat up for testing. I'm going to make sure it's good and dull. I've even broken the tip off of this. Uh, I'm going to sharpen both of these. We're going to see how it performs on a higher end steel and a more budget steel. I think it's going to do just fine. I've done a lot of sharpening with this. Uh, so we're going to see how it does. So I'm going to bring you guys back as soon as that stone has soaked. But first, we're going to do the dreaded task of making this knife dull. Oh, this sucks. This is so sharp. Oh. So we are knocking the edge completely off of this. You can see right there, there's no edge left on it. Oh, it is so dull. It is so dull. Oh, I hate doing that. We'll go ahead. This one's already dull, but we'll just make sure. Oh. <laughs> I hate doing this. All right. They are both extremely dull. Look at that. No edge left. That sucks. This is, it's actually sharper going that way than it is pushing down. It, you could scrape with it going this way. So now I'll bring you guys back as soon as that stone is ready and we're gonna start with the, the budget steel and then work our way and then do this one. I will time-lapse the sharpening for you. All right, guys, the stone has soaked. I do have another additional bottle of water here just to make sure we've got fluid on top of the stone. You don't wanna cut on a water stone without the water. It's just not the way it works. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what we can do on this one. Now I'm gonna start the video and I will time it and see how long it runs, but I'm definitely going to uh, speed up most of this. So these knives are both completely dull. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna time lapse you right now. So about, about three minutes and 26 seconds on that, and we've brought that edge back up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick strop off camera. You can see um, I haven't done anything else, no burr removal passes. I'm just going to do this on raw leather, and we'll see where we're at on this edge. Um, let me set this down and get some magazine paper. I forgot to grab it. So we've got a piece of magazine paper here and let's see. Yeah, we're paper cutting on magazine paper after three minutes and 28 seconds on that. Now, ARPM9 is a relatively easy steel to sharpen and you can see we got a good consistent edge on this. Now, my curiosity is how's it going to do against something like 20 CV? So we're gonna do that same test over again 
I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to wipe the stone off, get a little bit more water on top of it, do a quick cleanup with the Nagura stone, and then we are going to see how it does. Just a quick, just to make sure we've got the pores open on this, just to give it the best chance. I'm curious to see how it does against a much stronger, much harder steel like 20 CB. So hang on just a second and we're going to get started. And I will time lapse you. Sorry, I banged you guys with the drawer. I will time lapse you guys as just in just a second as soon as we start. So guys, my camera stopped. So I it ju I just watched, I saw it stop. So we're going to keep going. So I'm going to add a little bit of time to it. So it's been right about four minutes and I'm almost to where I want to be, but the camera just died off. So uh, not to uh, not to try and fake it for you guys. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to get uh, further into this. So guys, if my estimation of time was right, it's just been about six minutes. We've got a good edge on this, I believe. We're gonna do a quick strop on this, on my leather uh, razor strop that hangs over here on the other side of the bench. And we will test this. That feels aggressively sharp. So give me just a second, I'm gonna come off screen. We are just gonna run it on this leather razor strop just to make sure that my burr removal passes have been effective and we didn't leave any of the burr just to give it its best chance just two quick passes on the raw on the rough side of the leather and the finished side of the leather so that is sharp i am not gonna say that that's not a good edge on that so six minutes on this stone now i absolutely would not typically oh yeah look at that I would not typically start and finish on a thousand grit stone. The only time I would start on a stone this fine is if I'm working on something like a straight razor because a straight razor needs a, you don't want to remove a ton of material on a straight razor, but the fact that you can do a, a more budget softer steel in like three minutes and then something more definitely higher end and much much resistant to wear much more resistant to wear in like six that is impressive so um i'm gonna get this all cleaned up we'll do some final thoughts we'll turn this around we'll do some final thoughts and i'm gonna let you know what i think about this stone and i absolutely absolutely am happy that i got this stone and uh if you guys don't, don't follow outdoors 55 awesome channel does a lot of sharpening does a lot of stuff this this wouldn't be here if i had not seen his quick video about this i will say these stones are a little finicky on how you treat them um you definitely don't want to leave that stone like that so before before you put it away absolutely take a nagura stone or a magic stone like they call them in japan and you clean that top surface off just give it a quick wipe down and you don't want to put this in its case wet. You don't want to over soak these stones. You don't want to leave these outside or out in a, in a hot environment where they're going to get exposed to the sun because it can cause cracking. These are not like a Spyderco ceramic stone. So definitely pay attention. There are instructions that come with them. You can translate them with like Google Translate, but I'm gonna tell you right now for, for like less than 50 bucks, I don't see how you could pass on this stone. So. So turns around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. These sharpening videos, I don't try to do all the green screen stuff. It's just easier. I don't have that much room. I absolutely, if you can, if you have not tried one of these stones yet, you need one. These are probably the best stones I have. I have this one. I have a eight, I have 5,000, 8,000, 12,000. Um, and you can work up your way through those grits and get any finish. Great for razors, great for all around knives. I don't think I've had a thousand grit stone that cuts every steel I've thrown at it so quickly. So 
Guys, I'll have a link to it down below. If you don't follow Outdoors 55, you definitely need to. He's a great, great dude. I talk to him all the time. Uh, we are actually have each other's phone numbers. We talk to each other. Great guy. Can't go wrong with his recommendation. Now that I've absolutely done my full testing, can't recommend it enough. Sponsors down below, Coffee Grand Coffee, Temper Trail, Doll Strong Knives. They have discounts on some of them. I have a coupon code of Crazy Sharp that works at a lot of vendors, including Doll, uh, I'm sorry, Beyond EDC, which is 40% off right now. Coffee Grand Coffee, great, great choice. Didn't throw an ad in. They're my preferred sponsor. They've done so much to support the channel. They're great people to work with. The coffee is amazing. I have a membership down below. You can look at that. Check out, pick out tiers that work for you, but I do giveaways. I have a, a, a private Discord with those guys, and I have got a public Discord that I've built. Just check all that stuff out. Make sure you're using my Amazon store. If you're going to buy knives, use the affiliate links down below for all the major vendors. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.